Welcome to the Grateful American series, an interactive multimedia program designed to restore enthusiasm in American history for kids and adults too. Creator of this series is David Bruce Smith, an author and publisher here in Washington, D.C. I'm Hope Katz Gibbs, your co-host, founder of Incandescent Public Relations and Incandescent TV. We are here today in sunny Richmond, Virginia at St. John's Church, the place where Patrick Henry gave his famous Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death speech. And we are interviewing Ray Baird, who is a reenactor and the tour guide that gives a wonderful taste of American history for 30 minutes to anyone who wants to come through and sit in the church and learn this wonderful story. So welcome, Ray. Thank you all for having me. I'll always take any opportunity that I have to talk about Patrick Henry, especially here in St. John's Church, to people who are really interested. Yes, this is a wonderful tour because you really feel your, your magic transposes us back into that time in history. So take us back to when you got involved with this project. Now about, I guess, anywhere around 12 to 14 years ago, I used to be a tour guide here in Richmond. And the fourth graders doing their spring and fall field trips would uh, hire us to jump on the bus and go around with them for six or eight hours a day. And this was always a part of their stop. This was on their SOL school. So I would come in here and bring them. And I brought them in there for so many years. Eventually, I got to the point where I'd much rather bring them in here than get on the bus with them. So they asked me to come here and do this about 11 years ago, and I'm gratefully I've been here ever since. And that's quite a speech to remember. I know you've repeated it a lot of times, but it's 30 minutes of incredible amounts of information. Well, I don't pretend that I know every bit of it. I do try to go back and learn a little more each time, but yes, it is. It's a very tough speech, and it takes a real good actor to be able to do that and portray the feelings that Patrick Henry had, but I don't pretend to know it all. I just know enough to share it with the people because I do get excited when I do this. And you make the audience excited for sure. We've been, we sat through several of the tours this morning and everyone, every person in the, in the church was thrilled and, and really sucked in. So tell us a little bit about Patrick Henry. Well, Patrick Henry is probably the least known founding fathers that deserves more credit than he'll ever get. And that's what I feel like my mission is, is to put Patrick Henry up there with the people that get a lot of credit. Patrick Henry was a humble man. He was what you would call today a blue collar lawyer. He looked out for the small man. He was raised in the semi country. He did have a little bit of money with his family, but they were by no means the upper crust and then at the speech when he was speaking to the people outside the window as well because they were common people and the common people is who he really founded, who he was really in, interested in helping. So take us back to the day of that speech. Give us a little history. Well, from what we understand, they, it was the fourth day of the convention. The convention started on March the 20th. On the 23rd of the month, they were reconvening at 10 o'clock in the morning. And from what I understand, the weather had been cold and clammy and rainy, but with 120 delegates in the church, they were asked to open the windows. And by opening the windows, now he included the townspeople because the townspeople were lining the, uh, the church windows to here. And he was smart enough or aware enough to know that he was speaking actually not only to the delegates in the church, but he was speaking to the townspeople outside the church. And he knew that if there was a war, that a lot of those people are the ones that were gonna to have to be doing the, the fighting part of the war. So he was smart enough and good enough to address both assemblies at one time, the inside and the outside. And. Um, that's when he would say his speech. And the speech was a really, I've been doing a little bit of studying on, you know, I hear about all the time, things about where did the speech come from? Where did liberty or death come from? Well, we're pretty sure it comes from a play written around 1711 in England by a playwright named Addison that was called Cato. And in that uh, play, Cato was a much was much like Patrick Henry was. He was opposed to Caesar's rule. He would rather die than um, live under Caesar's rule. And in that play, he will say liberty or death. 
Fantastic. Well, history abounds here in Richmond, Virginia, and especially at St. John's Church. We thank you so much, Ray, for letting us come in and listen to your speech and share it with our viewers. Thank you so much. It's like, again, people are welcome anytime as long as they want to hear about Patrick Henry. Thank you so much for being with us. You are watching The Grateful American TV Show, a video production of David Bruce Smith's Grateful American Foundation. Watch more episodes at www gratefulamericantv.com and follow our TV show, radio show, monthly newsletter, and upcoming books at our website, www.gratefulamericanfoundation.com. I'm Hope Katz Gibbs, your co-host. On behalf of David Bruce Smith and myself, we look forward to restoring enthusiasm in American history for you and your kids. We'll talk to you soon.